Berniston is the designer of Sizzix Pop-Up Dyes and has had her work published in numerous magazines and idea books. Today, Karen is returning to tell us all about week five, number five. Have you missed the other weeks? It's week five of the Sizzix Triple Play Blog Hop. It's the coolest. Wait until you hear about it if you have not heard about this before. I'm delighted to welcome Karen Berniston. Hi, Karen. Hey, Tiffany. I'm hoping this is going to work because I have two cameras set up today. Um, what I'm going to show you today is the die that we're using for the blog hop this week. So if you haven't checked it out, go to civicsblog.blogspot.com and um, you'll see that there's over 50 designers. Oh, there it is. That's what you need, your little slide there. There's over 50 designers, close to 60, that are participating and every Thursday all of these designers work with the same die and post a project on their own blog. And you can find all of the links on the Civics blog or really on any of our, our blogs that are participating. You'll see that little logo there with some little navigation buttons and you can just hop around the entire ring. So makes it really easy. This week we're using one of my dies, which is the gift card holder. It's a big XL die like this and it's meant to go in a big shot. Okay, so if you've got a big shot or a big kick, you can go bigger, like a big shot pro, but you can't go smaller, not like that red, you know, original physics. And this thing goes together so quick and simple that I'm actually going to show you how quickly it goes together. And so now I need to switch my camera. So let me do that. Okay, so here's a card using the gift card holder. And you'll see there that what it makes is it's just this little pop-up for you section, it kind of looks like an arch, and this gift card just slides right in. It's designed for a gift card, and you know, it's going to make it really easy to give your holiday gift cards. So let me show you how this goes together. you got these three pieces that are cut by the die. This all comes out at the same time. What I like to do is go back in then and cut my label piece kind of out of contrasting color, and then I just take some scraps and cut just this kind of section right here on the die, and that gives me the opportunity to remove that little frame. So if I back up to this piece real quick and show it very close to the camera, you'll see it's got perforations. I don't know if you'll see that, but maybe you do if I kind of wiggle it. And so those perforations make it really easy to remove this frame here at your desire, I guess, and that makes it really easy to highlight that portion of the gift card holder. Okay, so assembly, super, super simple. Machine has made three scores for you. The little thing at the bottom here, right across the bottom, is scored by the machine and it folds under. Right up here where that little diagonal starts and kind of the frame ends, there's another score and that one folds to the back. So there's two of your scores. And then let me just put this on the table because I think it will be easier to see. When you, well, let's do it this way. Okay, now, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but my two little feet, I like to call them my feet, are coming right through those little holes in the gift card holder. They each have a little score that allows them to fold up. And that's all the folding that there is on this gift card holder. So what I like to do before I go ahead and put it in my card if you're going to use it as a gift card holder, then what you want to do is put your gift card in so that goes behind for you and then slides into those little notches that are already on the die. So you don't need any adhesive for it. But what this allows you to do before you've assembled it is if you turn it over, this is kind of a lot of weight for just one piece of cardstock. So that's what I like to use that label piece for. If I'm not making a billboard, I can use this now behind and then that just reinforces it. So I can just add a little glue dot here, here, where it won't impede the card going in and out, and then, you know, way back here, and then put that in place. Then on the front, you won't see any difference, but when they remove the gift card, then you have some nice contrast behind for you. So that's just a little tip there. Then if you will also add that frame around the front, that gives it even more reinforcing. Okay, so I know I'm going quick, but we only have a little bit of time, so I'm going to throw this thing together. Here's my card. I've already done that stuff that I just showed you with the white frame on the back and the little white label frame. And I went ahead and added some adhesive right, whoops, <laughs> right across the bottom right here. 
and then on my little feet over here. This all is in the step-by-step -step instructions that come with the die. And I also have some video instructions on my blog. But if we peel up the liner on that bottom foot there, that goes right in the fold of the card. So its fold goes in the fold. So let me just line it up and press it down so that How funny. Haha. <laughs> I didn't actually get the liner off the tape. That's why it wasn't sticky. Okay, fold in the fold, just like that. Got my fold in the fold of the card. And the minimum card size you can use on this is an A2, which is half of an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. And you can go bigger, you just can't go smaller. Okay, now I'm gonna fold it nice and flat, and I want to make sure it's good and flat, and then I'll fold my little feet up there, and then when I peel up those tape liners. Now that's going to be sticky on top of those feet. So see if I were to sit on it, it would be stuck to my backside. So that's, you, you never want to stick those down. Those should be sticky on top. Then you just close the card. Okay, and now when it opens, that's going to pop up like that. And the only thing is it's kind of floppy right now. So there's one more piece that comes on the die, and that's just this rectangle. And all that's for is you weave it through your gift card holder in the back and you stick it down on either end and that's your anchor that holds it open in that nice big open position. And that is literally all there is to this die. And now it's just time to decorate. One more really quick thing, so I'm out of time, but you can also use that label piece that's on the die, this one here, to die cut a photo or something else to cover the for you. And now it's just a billboard. So there's my little nephew there. So that's gonna be generic for all year round. You can use this thing as a gift card. And if I were to show you behind there, you'd see that for you is still there. I've just covered it with a photo and now it's a billboard.